Commendations are awarded to the following NFBI personnel. Former First Director, Senior Fire Officer 2, Orperia P. Bagisen. Force Coordinator, Senior Fire Officer 2, Marianne P. Ortiz. Force Coordinator, Fire Officer 3, Walmart S. Opa. Again, to the awardees, small officers, congratulations. Fourth, in the bench, Maple Fire Inspector Ariel P. Carriolos, Chief of the Student Affairs Service. Please repeat after me. We, the alumni of the PPSC system, are guided in our world with the core values of honesty, professionalism and responsiveness. Thus, we believe in team spirit, organizational unity and excellence, to achieve public safety objectives for the benefit of the community, and for the greater good of the country. So help me God. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you, sir. Congratulations, please be seated. At this juncture, formally introduce our guest of honor and speaker, Ako, our beloved Chief Superintendent, Melinda Vila Chave, Director and MPI. Our guest of honor and speaker for today is one of the remarkable officers in the BFP. He is known for his leadership and exemplary service. He is a member of the PMP Agape class of 1996 who graduated with a degree of Bachelor of Science in Public Safety. Prior to his cadetship, he earned a bachelor's degree in Industrial Education from Spurzabon College of Arts and Trades in 1993. Recognizing the value of continuous education, he pursued graduate studies and earned a master's degree in public administration at the People University, where he was awarded the Outstanding Student in 2007. Subsequently, he earned a doctorate degree in public administration from the same university in 2013. In the sphere of service, he turned challenges into opportunities as he set the direction for and fast-track the finalization of the latest edition of the Fire Code's Implementing Rules and Regulations in 2018. As the Vice Chair of the Technical Working Group for the Revision of the Implementing Rules and Regulations of the Fire Code, he helped in accomplishing the target a month before the set deadline. Consequently, the final draft was signed by DILG Secretary Eduardo Ali. Also in 2018, he served as the Regional Director of Region 7 and he revolutionized the of the government by launching the Oplan Pag-Asa, Partnership Against Graph and Corruption, a service reform advocacy. He also implemented the same during his state at the BFP and CR, and with the support and cooperation of other government agencies, he was able to curb corruption, particularly extortion in recruitment and promotion. Inspired by the determination to lessen the number of fire incidents, he developed and introduced the Auckland Diktas na Pamayanan or OLP program. It is a community-based fire safety program that was adopted nationwide in 2019. To capacitate BFP rescuers in maritime accidents, which are highly probable in Central Visayas, he established the first aquaculture rescue unit of the BFP in Cebu. Likewise, he organized BFP's first K9 unit to help locate trapped victims faster during rescue operations with or without the aid of electronic tracking devices. Hence, this region was awarded the best BFP regional office in 2019 by no le less than the President of the Republic of the Philippines, President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. The award was in recognition of the performance that was beyond expectations and targets with excellent budget utilization. In 2020, he was given command of the BFP NCR as the regional director. And amidst the surge of the COVID-19, with NCR as the epicenter of the pandemic, BFP NCR under his leadership continued to be active in promoting fire safety. Under the Oakland Diktas na Pamayanan on the road, fire trucks rolled around this area several times a day to remind the community how to prevent any incident of fire. Despite the limitations posed by the pandemic, he managed to sustain BFP's role in raising fire safety awareness and consciousness. He also saw the need to reconfigure the process of issuing fire safety inspection certificates by launching the mobile business one-stop shop in 2020. His initiative was once again implemented nationwide months after its launching in the NCR. Subsequently, 
He launched a faster, safer, and more convenient release of the FSICs through the EF6 system, where businesses who have complied with the fire safety requirements can access their FSICs online through the BFP NCR's website. He also provided the direction for the installation of the first digital radio system in the BFP for seamless and real-time dispatch and coordination of information among responding units and emergency operation centers within Metro Manila. Notwithstanding the pandemic, BFP NCR under his leadership managed to become the top grossing airport fees collection that comprises one-third of the BFP's aggregate firefold revenue. With his untiring commitment to the service, he achieved multiple honors and awards, the most recent as the Best Regional Office Award for BFP NCR during the first semester of calendar 2021. He was also awarded the Medalla ng Katapatan sa Pagliging Paul as the Regional Director of the BFP NCR during the 48th Fire Service Recognition Day. His dedication and commitment to the Bureau exemplifies a standard for our junior leaderships to model. His unselfishness in imparting his wisdom leads to lessons that inspire every uniform personnel. And that is why today, I am greatly really honored to present to you the guest of honor speaker, the Director for Intelligence and Investigation of BFP National Headquarters, my snappy classmate, who has a very promising career ahead of him, Chief Superintendent Gilbert D. Dolo. Thank you all for that uh, very kind and generous uh, introduction to uh, the uh, Director of the National Fire Training Institute, Fire Chief Superintendent within the Bylaws of Scarry, my classmate. Fire Chief Superintendent Carlos Greñas, Regional Director of the Region 10. Ms. Maricela Antonio, Dr. Joseph Macaresa, and uh, Ms. Linda Ortiz, the uh, entire NTA family, the graduating members of um, Fire Junior Leadership Course, Salilahi Plus. Before I begin with my message, allow me to say thank you for inviting me as your speaker on your graduation ceremony for the Junior Leadership Course. Clearly, we see a better future for the BDP that at the early part of your career, you are being trained to become good leaders. Some say that there are people born to be leaders. Some of us may share the same belief that we are indeed born to be leaders. To some, it is interpreted as the meaning quality of a person, some but genetic in nature that comes along with birth. Others may look at it as something that is written in the future, a sort of destiny. And in his stance, especially for politicians, in rural places in China, where several of their leaders were born in a particular community, a group of researchers was sent to conduct a study to determine and identify some model that can be used to develop a system that will lead to producing more strong leaders in the future. One of the respondents was an old man, perhaps the oldest in the community, when he was asked this question by one of the researchers, Sir, do you have any idea why leaders are born here in our community? The old man casually replied, That's so, because as far as I know, I haven't seen one in my entire life. I only saw several babies having been born at Narinan, but not a leader. One of the ponderable beliefs in the field of education was written by the Greek philosopher Aristotle in the treatise The Anma, or On the Soul. It says that every child 
is born that I will not arise. Meaning, meaning, everyone of us is born with a blood or in his name. It may be sense that no one among us was born with the knowledge and qualities of a leader. Everything has to be schooled or the life experiences. Even the formation of character has to be cultivated or nurtured for us to become good leaders. This is how our educational system is packaged. Education not only of the minds, but also of the character. Education not only of the mind, but also of the character. This is what we want to see in our leaders of this time and in the future. People with knowledge and the heart to lead us. Leaders with integrity, good character, and confidence. The kind of leader that will bring us the future that we all believe is good for us. You may have been bombarded with lectures in this leader's course, however, it occurs to me that I should remind you of this. According to Colin Powell, Leadership is not about the organization, plans, strategies, but it is all about the people. It is all about people debating people to get the job done. One of the key elements for a person to lead our followers. Without them, you cannot be a leader. Because Without them, you can be a leader. And followers are characterized as people who voluntarily follow. And I repeat, followers are characterized as people who voluntarily follow a leader because they are motivated rather than manipulated. Remember that the ability to influence or to inspire those around you is the greatest source of power of a leader, not the authority that you possess by virtue of your office, your title, or your position. You may have the authority by your title or position, but you cannot influence people to get into, into your good cause, then you are not leading. You are simply manipulating, controlling, and coercing people. Leadership is not a position or a title, it is action or example. One thing to the leader is not enough. You may have to be willing, you may to sacrifice, to take the hit, take the pain when the team is the mark. Most of all, you have to be willing to get to the back of the line when the team is praised for their success. Leadership is not about you. It is about the people you are leading. It is a sad that uh, it is but a sad thing that uh, in most cases, the leader is the one who takes all the recognition, the credit, the central states, and those who really did the work are left at the side of the line. Your attendance this training is of great importance, not only to you, but to your future followers. As leaders, you will need to understand all the fundamental principles of leadership. However, learning is not enough. There is a need to practice all these time value principles and let them come to life by the way what good they do to others. In closing, I want you all to think of this statement from Sir Richard Branson. He said that clients do not come first. I have been uh, hearing the statement that the customer is only right, client satisfaction. And here he said that clients do not come first. You know, our employees, our followers must come first. If you take care of your employees or followers, they will take care of the clients. So the leadership must be for the benefit of the followers not for the impeachment of the leaders. Again, good morning, congratulations, 
and the people you forget for inviting me as your speaker. Maraming salamat. Thank you. Thank you, sir. With the remarkable message which Stephanie team motivated us all. Truly a true leader <clears throat> motivates and does not manipulate. And to extend our kindness, gratefulness to our guests, the foreign speaker, NFI awards the black and token of appreciation to our guest of honor and speaker, Fire Chief Superintendent Gilbert D. Dola, Director of Intelligence and Investigation, PFP National Headquarters. To read the same page, Dola. To walk the talk with the Philippines. To walk the safety values, National Park Cave, and the city of the city of the city of the city of the Awards this lack of appreciation to Fire Chief Superintendent Gilbert Clinton, EPNCR, Director of Intelligence Investigation, PFP National Headquarters. We grateful for acknowledgement of his involvement support to the National Fire Training Institute as the guest of honor speaker during the graduation ceremony of the Fire Junior Leadership Course, class number 2022 11, on November 3, 2022. Given, given this Third day of November 2022 at the National Training Institute of Pastita Group is I, Belinda Pia Chavez, Chief Superintendent, BFP, Drug, and Guy. And also a comment from the FJLC 2022 production level class, given to our guest of honor. Thank you, sir. And also a token will be given to our NFPI director from the FJLC 2022 class level class. Thank you, moms and sirs, and again, to our guest of honor and speaker, our warmest big fans and sir. And to conclude our ceremony, may we request our key officers and saves to be stand. And to others, please all stand for singing NFI and be a Why? 